Map reading 8. Relating the map to the ground. As a soldier, it's essential that you can relate the map to the ground in order to identify your own location or the location of the enemy or prominent features. To be able to relate the map to the ground, you must first orientate your compass to the map, as previously shown in Lesson 7. Once you've completed that, everything you will see in your field of vision should be reflected in the area of the map you've identified. To remember the principles used to relate the map to the ground, the army uses the mnemonic DD Craps. When the map is correctly orientated, then the direction on the ground will match the direction on the map. This is shown by seeing a church spire and monument circled in red, which are shown on the map, also circled, with arrows from the thick red line which denotes the location you are viewing them from. Distance. You can identify features or locations by estimating their distance away from you or from known features. Using the methods taught to judge distance and remembering that each grid square relates to one kilometre on the ground, it can assist you to work out how far away you are from the building featured on top of the ridge line, circled in red. Conventional signs. Map knowledge of conventional signs will help you identify features on the ground. For example, the church spire and railway circled here are clearly denoted by their map symbols featured on the map. Relief. Identifying the patterns of relief features on a map enables you to recognize the shape of the feature on the ground. For example, the prominent re-entrance circled to the right in the picture is clearly marked with contours on the map. Alignment. If three or more features on the ground lay along a straight line in your line of sight, they are in alignment. This can aid in relating the map to the ground and is particularly useful if features lie in a direct line with your own position as shown in the picture and on the map. Proximity. How close things are or their proximity to a more obvious feature can also assist in identifying a feature you are more interested in. If we wanted to figure out where the kink in the road is circled to the left of the picture, we know it is close to the three circled buildings and from that we can identify a likely kink in the road in close proximity to three buildings on the map as shown. Finally, the shape of features. For example, wood blocks, as shown in the picture, can make it easy to identify similar shaped wood blocks on the map and can immediately bring you on to the area of interest.